So on Facebook, apparently, a, um, a nice young man uh, from Manchester University, a guy named Jack Andrew Renshaw, he's in Britain, has uh, threatened his dog in writing, I wish my dog would stop licking the penises of other male dogs. I love you, Derek, my dog, but don't challenge my principles because my principles will likely win. All amusing, yes. But what makes it a little bit scary is that he's a, a member of this a British National Party youth. Founded in 1982, calls for the voluntary resettlement whereby immigrants and their descendants are afforded the opportunity to return of their lands of ethnic origin as if that doesn't already exist. Uh, implying that they would give a little nudge. But watch this video, because if you want to get a sense of what the danger of right-wing populism is, now, the right-wingers in this country don't quite have this level of sophistication and can't bring themselves in our form of government to actually... Um, espouse this type of, uh, of economic populism. But this is terribly scary. You will see a bunch of kids, well, youth, millennials, espousing some things that you could really get on board with. Dealing with the banks, wanting to nationalize certain industries, perhaps. And then they sprinkle it in with a, uh, a good old-fashioned uh, hatred of well, the Muslims, the immigrants, the gays. Well, everybody who's not a uh, white Christian. Uh, enjoy this. This could be uh, coming to a country near you. Pause it. I should also add that we did not add this music. Fellow British youth, who is responsible for the ongoing attempt to eradicate the British culture and the British identity through the forced assimilation of different cultures and different peoples with our culture and our people, resulting in the bastardization of the genuine diversity that makes up the rich tapestry of humankind? Who is responsible? For you hear that argument now. The argument is who has uh, in some way infected our British culture in such a way that it will actually ruin the broader tapestry of diversity in the world because we will be mutated and our Britishness will be diminished. And now, of course, we know who they're really talking about. They're talking about the dirty immigrants and non-white uh, Christian British people. But then they go on to list a litany of people that some of them we can maybe get on board. The ever-growing debt owed by Britain to the banks. Who is responsible for burdening us by sending 12.8 billion abroad whilst our own people suffer from austerity measures? Who is to blame for unsustainable housing projects ruining our countryside? Who is responsible for allowing Islam to have an impact on our society? Who is responsible for the uncontrolled mass immigration into Britain? Who is responsible for the dumbing down of our education system? Who is responsible for giving away our independence to the European Union, letting them pass our laws, control our borders and destroy our industries? Who is responsible for portraying racist attacks as only being against non-whites? Not, Not us. us. Then who is responsible? The answer, an unholy alliance. The banksters who want us to be debt slaves after their private banking schemes have put us into unpayable debt. The heartless Zionists, whose interests are foreign interests, who send our soldiers to fight and die for private profit of greedy politicians. The cultural Marxists who infest our teaching establishment. The capitalists that want to make us wage slaves as well as brainwashed consumers. The militant homosexuals who push for gay marriage and gay adoption in order to destroy the traditional family unit. The media that ignore the racist attacks against whites, such as Charlene Downs, whilst pandering to the likes of Baroness Lawrence. We want our land to be a home for our people and our culture. We want our people to be put first when it comes to charity and jobs. We want the promotion of the traditional family and our core Christian values. We want major industries to be owned by the public 
for the benefit of the public. We want our national sovereignty. Our leaders should be elected, accountable and domestic. We want the banks to be reformed, the current debt wiped and the bankers punished. We want business regulated so that they are never able to form a monopoly over the people. We want justice for the forgotten white victims of racist violence. We, we do. do. This is not a request, this is a demand. We are sick of the previous generation's cowardly actions. We will not give in and we will not back down. We will protect our own identities and secure our own futures. We are BMP Youth. Wow, there you have it, folks. It's the capitalists and the Marxists and the militant homosexuals and the racist uh, attacks versus whites. And we want major industries to be owned by the public. Some of that I can get on board with. Debt relief. Mm hmm. And then again, justice for white people. <laughs> the militant gays have gotten to my dog, Derek. That's right. <laughs> The militant gays who taught my dog to, to lick other dogs' penises. We will protect them. Who is responsible for making me dog gay? <laughs> this uh, is not I'll the dog shadowy I'll network. tell you something. I can't wait until we're playing that um, the uh, American National Party. There's just something about hearing... They'll never have such good economic policies. No, no, they won't.